Hello guys, welcome to a new Get Wreck News video and I have some spicy gaming news for you guys today. Final Fantasy 16 might release earlier than Forspoken if we have to believe a new rumor that is. We will talk all about that stuff and Stalker 2 looks to be back in development after the whole stuff in Ukraine. Sit back, relax, take a beverage to relax yourself and let's get on with the news, shall we? First off, let's talk about Final Fantasy 16 because I'm very hyped for it and there is a new rumor. So take this all with a big grain of salt as always. Rumors tend to be fake or real, but the rumors that I usually tell on this channel are, have some kind of credibility to them from sources that were right in the past. This rumor comes from Sefessel Sefessel Nick. I, I never can say his name right. Um, but he has some stuff correct in the past. He runs a Xbox podcast. And yeah, I know this rumor comes from an Xbox podcast, even though Final Fantasy 16 is a PlayStation exclusive, but who, who cares? Anyway, uh, some of his sources tell him that Final Fantasy 16, if they can, if Square Enix can get it out this year, they will delay Forspoken for it to give it some more time. Now, this information all comes from the podcast. I will show you a snippet now of it. I, I need to preface this by saying that when I was told this, I, I was very weird about it. So obviously we're in a period now where a lot of games are getting delayed. Now, a game that got delayed already once recently, I think it was back in March, <clears throat> was Forspoken. My... Um, Source reached out to me and mentioned something and I was like, oh, didn't... Ba basically, what, what I'm hearing is that there's there's a possibility that Square might delay Forspoken again. But it's kind of conditional. And apparently this condition is whether they think they can get Final Fantasy 16 out this year. And that's what I mean by this is a weird rumor. That That's the way it was explained to me. They said that if Square... If Square can get Final Fantasy 16 out the door this year, if they think they can, apparently they will delay Forspoken again. If they think they can get Final Fantasy 16 out. What does this mean? My, it might mean that Final Fantasy 16 is just further along than we think. Uh, we know that Yoshi P in the past has said that he wanted to show off the game closer to release. In a previous video I made a few days ago, I said Final Fantasy 16 is in the final stages of development. That was a big news video I had a few days ago. And that was by Yoshi P himself on a live stream. He said that. So it might look like Square Enix is thinking at the moment to delay Forspoken. Gameplay that we have for Forspoken, it looks alright. But it, to me at least it looks a little bit unfinished. And maybe Square Enix has seen some of the feedback towards uh, that and they might give Forspoken a bit more time. When could we see Final Fantasy 16 and, and Forspoken respectively? If this is true and Final Fantasy 16 gets a release date for this year, I think we could see it for November and then let Forspoken release next year around March somewhere. That would be a good time to release Forspoken as a new IP. I also do believe that Forspoken just needs more uh, marketing as well. It's a new IP, not a lot of people know it. And Final Fantasy, of course, already has a big brand name. Now, of course, that all depends if this rumor is true. I need to repeat that. Um, we could just see like Forspoken still for this year, not getting delayed, and Final Fantasy 16 might be for next year. That's still possible. There could be a state of play in the cards for Final Fantasy 16 specifically, as well as God of War Ragnarok. We still haven't seen a release date for God of War Ragnarok. I keep repeating this every video now, 
that we need to still see a release date for Rock, Ragnarok and it's still not here yet even though they are promising that it's coming out this year at least that was uh, that's was a comment by Cory Barlock in the uh, April I believe anniversary video that he did for God of War uh, they were uh, finishing graphics on level 3 or something that's what he said I could see this happening God of War getting a release around September that's just spe this is speculation from my part around September we also have the last of us remake I made a video about that um, I could see that them being for October and uh, for November Final Fantasy 16 that's a little bit of my own speculation if this is true PlayStation is going to knock on Xbox like hey we have games and we have exclusives and I find this so sad for X Xbox fans that they their Starfield Starfield got delayed Redfield got delayed Redfall got delayed it's you know, they don't have a lot of any more for this year. Of course, we should still wait for the showcase that's happening in June. So, really interesting news. Final Fantasy 16 might release earlier. And the next topic that I wanted to talk about is Stalker 2. Now, Stalker 2 has some unfortunate development as it got delayed. Um, indefinitely because of, of course, the war that's been happening in Ukraine. Their development studio was situated in Ukraine. There were some rumors that they would move to the Czech Republic to resume development for the game. And we, I have some news on this whole development. They apparently restarted development just some time ago. I got this info from a website. I had to Google translate it because, because it was all, I think in Russian or in Ukraine. I, I don't know what language it was. I think it was Russian. It was uh, at the website uh, WWCry Online, so I never heard of this website. But they had a screenshot of a official Stalker Discord where the, one of the developers actually confirmed the development is yet again started for the game. So this comes from the website Stalker 2 Production has resumed. Production of Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl has resumed. The developers from the GSC Game World Studio disclosed this information on their official discord they also mentioned the difficulty level of the title so now they um, show a screenshot discord message i will put it on the screen for you guys uh, by mold one it's apparently a uh, developer it continues confirmed by a developer that the production for stalker 2 is back into development and they said a little bit on the difficulty of the game as well um, one of the devs answered basically we will prepare enough difficulty settings for the player to find the right level of challenge there will be something even for real connoisseurs of hardcore and i know that a lot of uh, stalker fans are very hardcore in their difficulty so it's pretty cool to hear that uh, the original stalker fans will have a harder difficulty to enjoy uh what about the release dates i'm very skeptical that it will make its december release date its original one i don't think it will anymore i think it will be moved to 2023 that's just my own speculation we might see it with a new trailer at the xbox showcase because i have some seen some leaks on um i believe discord where i am in a discord server and i saw uh, a leak from a stalker 2 build to make a new trailer so we could see this new trailer soon at a xbox showcase because it's an xbox exclusive third party exclusive so that is pretty cool we might see if maybe a release for I'm saying like February or something or March. If it still makes it this year, then that would actually be really cool for Xbox because Xbox doesn't have anything this year. That's it's really sad uh, for Xbox players. My Series I am an I'm an Xbox player as well. My Series X uh, sitting next to me just catching dust at the moment. So it's a very unfortunate situation after the whole Starfield delay. And I have one uh, actually last funny thing that I wanted to show you guys. Because I found this just really funny. 
there is this uh, new Taco Bell ad uh, for a pizza and uh, Kingdom Hearts is trending on Twitter <laughs> because the Taco Bell ad mentions Sora by name in its ad and I cannot show you like uh, the vol the sound for this ad because I might get copyright claimed because there is uh, music playing in the background and it might be copyright claimed so I cannot let you show you I, I will probably play the ad on screen maybe but I cannot show you the actual uh, uh, the sound for it but they mentioned <laughs> Sora in it and it's <laughs> I don't know why and of course the Kingdom Hearts community find this funny and make they are already making memes out of it I think this just this is might just be a uh, some kind of like uh, uh, an error in the song or something that or maybe it isn't and the rapper is a big fan of Kingdom Hearts <laughs> so uh, this is uh, from Aud Audrey's Twitter uh, she's a big uh, translator for Japanese stuff uh, surrounding Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts uh, so I guess Sora ended up working at Shibuya's Taco Bell for the insane rant for this apartment LMAO <laughs> and we see Sora here uh, edited in Photoshop working at Taco Bell because he needs to pay his rent um, yeah I found this just really funny I, I wanted to show you guys that this is, this is happening and uh, Sora is featured in a fucking like Taco Bell ad so I found that pretty funny so um, that was all that I wanted to talk about with you guys for this video. What do you think of Final Fantasy 16 getting a release maybe for this year and Forspoken getting delayed? And uh, what's your opinion on Stalker 2? Are you still excited for it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Give me a like and subscribe. That would be really cool of you. And of course, as always, thank you for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.